In today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to draw overlapped flowers in a very easy way. I'm using scholar sheet and 4H pencil for the sketching. Most of us usually use this technique to draw any overlapped object. This way you can't maintain the real shape of any object. And usually they found it difficult to draw any object at the background or at the foreground. So this is a big taunt for the overlapping technique. Here I am going to teach you how to draw overlapped flowers in a right and easy way. Draw two flowers parallel and with few petals overlapped. Now you will decide that which petal you want to come at foreground and which should go at the background. Raise the lines from the petals which you want to come at front. Now see, by just a raising technique you can see the petals are beautifully overlapped and their shape is also maintained. Draw as many flowers as you want. But before you move on, you will erase the lines right at that time, otherwise the, there would be so many flowers and they would be jumbled up and it would be difficult for you to draw to decide which petal should come at the front and which petal should come at the back. When your one flower is done, then you can draw the new flower. Draw different sizes of the flowers so that it will give more realistic look to your drawing. And you will continue with the same technique. Erase the line, overlap them and then move on for the next flower. For the stems and for the leaves, you are going to use the same technique, same overlapping technique. First you draw all the stems, then you decide that which stem should come at front and which will go at the back.
draw the leaves of different sizes Once the drawing is done, then you will just darken all the lines. Drawing is done and I have darkened all the lines. For the shading, always keep in mind that the areas which are at the background would be a little bit darker than the areas which are at the foreground. So the petals which are at the background would be a little more darker. So you have to add little more darker shade in the petals. Add shade and blend it with your fingertip. You can use cotton bud tissue or any piece of paper for the blending. I am using fingertip because it's easy to use during the drawing. I am using 6B pencil for the shading. Now shade the stems with the same technique and then shade the leaves. Our drawing and shading is almost done. Now I'm just adding the final touches of the shading just to define the shapes of the petals. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.